Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're gonna be asking the question, is the Unreal Engine going to the cloud? All right, welcome back. For this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So, the Unreal Engine is absolutely amazing, and one of the things I've said in the past is that if the Unreal Engine was on the cloud, it would be absolutely amazing. Now that might actually happen. So how do we know that the Unreal Engine is going to the cloud, and what are some of the major technical limitations? Well, so if you know of Google Stadia, you know that there might be cloud-based gaming in the future, but having a game engine and having a game are two completely different things. Now, what does it mean to be on the cloud? Well, you have a computer and then you install programs on that computer and then you can go use said programs. Now, the Unreal Engine is particularly demanding because of the shader use. If you've ever opened the Unreal Engine and you've opened a project, you might have to wait 10, 20, or 30 minutes and you might have the fan sound like a goat which is a meme which I absolutely love. Now this is because your computer has to compile a whole bunch of data. And everybody has to do this on their computers at home for pretty much every instance that the Unreal Engine has been installed on. So in contrast, if you were able to use the Unreal Engine on the cloud, you wouldn't have to do any of that. You would basically access the Unreal Engine servers and all of that work would be done at a server farm. And that's really interesting because you could, in theory, use the Unreal Engine on pretty much any device. It could be a TV, it could be your phone, it could be a tablet, or it could be your computer. And one of the cool things about this is that the Mac support for the Unreal Engine isn't very good. Unity does a much better job at Mac support than the Unreal Engine. Maybe because there's a lawsuit going on, I don't know. But one thing's for sure is that if you did have the cloud, you could use it on your Mac or your PC or your Linux device or wherever you wanted it to because you're accessing things in the cloud. Now, of course, this would require an internet connection, and this is something that may be prohibitive to a certain population, but with Starlink, and Starlink is actually pretty good, by the way, with Starlink, you might be able to work from anywhere with really good internet. And as Starlink gets better, the issue of rural connectivity to the internet is going to be less and less of a problem. So to actually make the Unreal Engine work on servers is not technically too hard. The problem is the latency between the servers and the computer. And it is a pretty big technical feat. So how do I know that the Unreal Engine is going to do this? Now, of course, I can just say, wouldn't it be awesome? And of course, the technical limitations are just irrelevant because you can just think something up. But the thing is, is that Epic is starting to hire some technical developers in this space. So if you look at the jobs open on the Real Engine site, you'll see that there are a lot of jobs that are gearing towards this kind of thing. And I think it would be really cool because one of the things I absolutely love about my favorite game engine, Construct 3, is that you can pull it up in a browser and use it anywhere. Now this is something that's really significant because let's say you want to have your engine in schools. Well, are you gonna get the person to download 250 or 1,000 versions of Unity and install them? That sounds incredibly complicated. Even if it's easy to do, it's still time consuming. So it's better to just pull up a browser and have your game engine work in the browser. And that's why Construct 3 is absolutely amazing. And you can use it from anywhere. You can use it from your phone, your tablet, wherever the internet is available on a browser. Now, what if the Unreal Engine could do the same thing? You just pull up your browser and boom, you're in the Unreal Engine. I think that would be absolutely amazing. And if this was the case, then I think the Unreal Engine would be absolutely amazing. Now, of course, Construct 3 is my favorite 2D game engine and Unreal is my favorite 3D game engine. And oh, I would really want Unreal to buy Construct 3 one day and use its inventing system in the Unreal Engine, but that's a topic for another time. But if the Unreal Engine were to master cloud development, I think it would be a lot more efficient for developers. So if you're an entrepreneur or you're a game developer or you're a developer of some kind, you want to get the most amount of product for the least amount of time and frustration. And cloud engines are a very good way of doing this because if you reduce the time it takes to get your project out there, your product will be a lot better. 
don't waste your time on meaningless things. You do not want to be fighting the engine that you're using. This is something that I've seen a lot of developers be very stubborn about. They like a specific framework and they will only use that framework even if it's not the best framework possible. Remember that you always have to change the way that you think and it's hard to do. It's hard to rewire your brain to do this, but you need to change the way you think and maybe you need to just learn a new engine. Now, when you're first starting out as a coder or a developer or even an entrepreneur, it's very hard to do this. But if you get in the habit of literally taking your thinking and changing it and trying to get real practical results out there, you will get better at that skill in itself. And that is a skill that will make you very successful. And furthermore, it will make you more money in the long run. If you can just take whatever it is you're doing and switch to whatever it is is trendy or profitable at the time, the more quickly you can do that and the more effectively you can do that, the better off you will be. So is the Unreal gonna come out on the cloud tomorrow? Well, it probably won't come out tomorrow and it might not even be possible because it, there are a lot of technical problems that need to be solved. And if those technical problems are solved and we get the Unreal Engine on the cloud, I think it's going to be the best game engine ever created. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Would you use the Unreal Engine on the cloud? Are you a Mac user and really would like to use the Unreal Engine, but you really can't because of technical limitations? I wanna know your comments down below. Remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital product down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more free content on this channel we can make and the more e-learning content we can make as well. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. We have monthly and yearly options. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You make this channel possible as well as my company, Mammoth Interactive. Our goal is to get to 10,000 paid monthly subscribers on Mammoth Interactive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.